Exciting day in West Toledo as the long anticipated Whole Foods opened. The line to get in circled the block as customers <laughs> rushed to get the upscale organic and natural grocery items. With their grand opening comes some other questions for that neighborhood. Blair Caldwell explains what the move means for that whole Secor area. You guys, you could see the excitement was really busy today, but it's no secret hundreds of Toledoans were happy about the opening. But now some are curious what this means for the traffic, empty buildings and the area as a whole. A busy part of town just got busier. Whole Foods has officially opened on Secor Road, bringing hundreds more to the area. Very exciting, and, and here's the main reason why. It shows that Whole Foods, an international company, has found Toledo, Northwest Ohio, to be a viable place for which to do business. While they've seen a lot of customers, nearby businesses like the Nutrition Spot say even in the first day, they've seen increased foot traffic from the upscale grocer. The Nutrition Spot opened in January and they're ready to see what's next for their health and wellness facility, serving energizing teas and meal replacement shakes. Probably one of our most popular shakes. We're excited. I mean, I think we put our first space in the best possible location and um, you know, being from West Toledo, this is really awesome to see and be a part of and we are just, we're so committed to making an impact in the community. The nutrition spot has been such a hit, they're working on a second location downtown. While Whole Foods has boosted other businesses and even helped to attract new ones, there's still some large vacant buildings city leaders are working to address. They're looking at rezoning the properties to attract businesses. If it's something that then can fit with this retail area where people are able to see it's a hustling, bustling area and, and that's the connection, then maybe that'll be the linchpin that gets those two buildings occupied. Some neighbors say they like seeing the development, but they want the city to address the traffic nightmare in the area. I'm a teacher. I used to get on 475 and go across in the morning and now I don't even try that. I just go straight up Secor to door. So it's nice to see the development, but the traffic is problematic. Now we did ask Councilman Winooski about the traffic. He says the city has done traffic studies in the past, but with the additional construction and development, he feels it needs to be reevaluated so drivers can better navigate that area. Reporting in studio, Blair Caldwell, WTOL 11 on Fox 36.